Well, uh, man, this song's about a year old. I wrote it about a year ago, and um, I hooked up with a friend of mine. His name is Jason Gamble. Um, he actually plays guitar for Lady Antebellum. So, uh, so he was off the road uh, with those guys, and uh, we sat down to write one day, and that's kind of what came out. And so uh, you said it's been around for about a year now. Are you starting to get a little sick of it? Because you've been performing a lot, and now it's making its way up the charts. No, no, not at all. It's exciting. It's exciting to watch it climb the charts. I mean, I'm I'm so grateful for all the radio stations that have hopped on it and uh, you know and supported it. I mean, it's it's a little bit different for country music. You know, I, t- I kind of took a little bit of a chance with this comeback single. Um, you know, because it's been it's been seven years since since I had that song "We Shook Hands Man to Man" that was out uh, when I was I don't know, 20 years old. So it's been a while. Now, how are things coming along towards working uh, towards a full album and whatnot as well? Well, the album's done. Uh, as far as being tracked, uh, we finished all the recording. We're just in the process of uh, of mixing it right now and getting it mastered. Um, it should be done in the next month or so. And uh, look for the next single, I think, in January is what they're telling me. And I know, too, you mentioned um, that it's been a bit of a, t- a break for you between singles. You had that one back in 2003 and now All About Us. But in between that, it's not like you weren't doing anything. You're, you're a pretty popular songwriter out there. Yeah, you know, I kind of took some time off from the artist career um, just to kind of gather myself and uh, and just, you know, just took some more time to be a songwriter and write songs for other folks. And, and over the last couple of years in particular, I've had a, a nice little string of, uh, of, of, you know, I guess you can call them hits, or so, I suppose. But, um, yeah, no, things are going well as far as the songwriting is concerned. I had a couple of top ten singles, and and uh, it's it's been nice to... Uh, listen to other people sing my songs and, and see the fans react to that. It's really cool. Now, don't be modest. You've had some huge hit songs. I mean, you've got Emerson Drive's Sleep It Off that's now top 10. Is there a smidgen of, I don't want to say longing or maybe regret, that when you do hear that, that you kind of go, man, I wish I had, would have held, held on to that song? Um, yeah, every once in a while. Um, it, was, it was kind of funny. I sat down to write with Brad and Danik from Emerson Drive that day, and we wrote Sleep It Off, and and at the end of the session, uh, it was pretty much, okay, which one of us is going to cut this thing? Because we loved it so much. And I was in the process of making this record, and, and they were going back in to do their greatest hits record that's out right now. And uh, they pretty much just beat me to the punch with that one. I say, not like a rock, paper, scissors showdown or anything? <laughs> <laughs> I'll have to keep that in mind for future songwriting sessions with artists. <laughs> so tell us this. So obviously, you're traveling around the world these days, you know, songwriting, you, your personal career musically taking off as well. What's the must-have thing when you travel? You've got to have it. Wow. Um, probably my BlackBerry. Uh, you know, I like to stay in touch with the social media and stuff. I'm definitely on Twitter and and Facebook, and I like to know what's going on. And plus, I get so many emails all day that if I didn't have my BlackBerry, I think I'd be uh, I'd be lost. That and my passport, because uh, it's always nice going home back to Canada. <laughs> now, we really appreciate the time you spent with us today as well. And before we wrap things up, uh, we'd like to do something with you we like to call the Fast Five. So we're going to throw okay. five questions at you, one-word answers. Are you ready? I am ready. So the first one off, you kind of you kind of already answered it, but BlackBerry or iPhone? Definitely BlackBerry. Uh, McDonald's or Wendy's? Harvey's. Harvey's. <laughs> nice. Well done. Well played. Choice, sorry. <laughs> well played, my friend. You got to go with the uh, the Canadian tried and true there. Uh, <laughs> Stomp and Tom or Tommy Hunter? Wow. Um, I'm going to say Tommy Hunter because when I was eight, I was on his television show. Were you really? That's fantastic. I was, yeah. Wow. Yeah. So you were singing, obviously, on the show and whatnot. Yeah, we did a duet of, uh, I think it was Jambalaya, like an old, old country Cajun song. Um, yeah, I was eight years old. It was, that was a long time ago. It was great. The things you find out. Okay, number four, Star Wars or Star Trek? Ooh, uh, Star Trek. Really? Yeah. I thought Star for Trek. sure you would have said Star Wars. Um, I'm not, to be honest. I'm not really a fan of either in, in a major way, but I would go with Star Trek. And finally, half empty or half full? Definitely half full. Uh, definitely half full, especially to be able to survive the music business. You have to look at your glass half full. Thank you so much for taking time out of your day to talk to us today, Tebe. We're certainly interested in following your career, looking forward to the album coming out. Can't wait. If somebody wants to know more about you, where can they get that information? Yeah, they can head over to the website, uh, www.tebemusic.com, and Tebe is spelled T-E-B-E-Y. My friend, thank you so much. Enjoy the rest of your day. Awesome. Thank you, guys.